Yo, what's up guys? You're back with your man, Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now today, it's all about the latest tech once again, since I have five monsters right here with me, all with different processing power chips inside them. The first up being the vanilla Lenovo Z6, which comes powered with the latest Snapdragon 730 chipset. Now this is actually a mid-range chipset, and it is indeed paired with six gigs of RAM. So I'm really interested to see how this stacks up the latest and greatest mid-range chipsets against the latest and greatest flagship chipset of last year, the Snapdragon 845, and the latest and greatest one from this year, the Snapdragon 855. So we do have a performance mode in there, and we've gone ahead and enabled game mode, and put it on N22 to, to set up the run. Then we have the IQ Neo. This is actually the most recent phone of the bunch, other than the Lenovo Z6, with a Snapdragon 845 chipset. The only phone that I know that comes with it this year, it has an ultra game mode, and it is paired with 6 gigs of RAM. We're going to open up N22 straight from that ultra game mode setting, and this costs exactly the same price as the Lenovo over Z6 with a flagship chipset of last year. Then we have the Redmi K20 Pro with an upstep of 8 gigs of RAM and the latest Snapdragon 855 chipset. This should blow the rest under the water guys, it should do ridiculously well. Unfortunately, there's no performance or game mode on this Redmi K20 Pro, so we have that lack of performance there. But no doubt, I do think that this will be the winner in this run here since it has the best processing chip out of the five devices. And we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G here, and the one that I have does indeed have 8 gigs of RAM, and it has, and it is paired with an Exynos 9820 chip, as opposed to the Snapdragon 855 chipset that you do see in the States. Nevertheless, it is still a very good chipset. It is 8 nanometer technology, just as seen in the Snapdragon 730. The Neo is 10 nanometer chipset technology with the 845, and the 855 is 7 nanometer as well. So on the three on the right here, we do have 7 nanometer chip technology in. With the Samsung, I have set the resolution to 1080p as well and enabled performance mode so that it doesn't do any restrictions when it comes to CPU and GPU performance. With the Nova 5 Pro, this first 7 nanometer chipset in the Android market was the Kirin 980 and this is indeed paired with it, as well as 8 gigs of RAM. So I'm really interested to see how this stacks up against the K20 Pro with a 7 nanometer chipset and the S10 5G with an 8 nanometer and the Z6 with the same. We've thrown this into Antutu and we have put the performance mode on here because the performance mode on Huawei makes quite a big difference. Guys, these are both incredible phones to say the least, and without further ado, let's go. Okay, so starting off with the phones over here, I have set the percentage up by 600% on running the Antutu Mark, so I don't keep you guys here all day. Uh, but you can see the visual elements of all of, the, of all of the devices, and you can clearly see the screen differences here. One big notice that you will see here is that the IQ Neo pretty much has the biggest chin at the bottom of their phone, as opposed to the rest of them. And I think the K20 Pro and the S10 5G have the smallest chins of the bunch here. Nevertheless, they all look absolutely incredible. The biggest difference here is that the S10 5G does come paired with a QHD Plus display out the box. Though I have not set it over here, it looks visually stunning with it on or off, since it has one of the best AMOLED panels out of the range here. And speaking about AMOLED panels, all of these devices actually come paired with one. And all of them look pretty great, but when it comes to brightness, the Samsung with almost 1200 nits outdoors looks absolutely superb when you are using it in sunlight. So no complaints over there. I must say that the Lenovo looks a little bit dim outside as well as the IQ but the rest look kind of okay. The K20 Pro not faring too much. I think the next best when it comes to brightness is probably the Nova 5 Pro since Huawei are pretty much known for their AMOLED panels as well. Now looking at the final scores over here guys I'm really impressed with the K20 Pro but it wasn't a surprise here for me with 373,000 points. It did seriously well out the bag. Pretty much the highest that you'll get other than the Nubia Red Magic 3 which can hit over 400,000, but you're not going to notice much of a difference there. Then we have the Galaxy S10 5G in second place with its Exynos 9820 chip with 333,000, not too far behind, but we are talking 40,000 points behind there. Then the Nova 5 Pro with the first 7 nanometer chip around. Remember, this is 7 nanometer and the Exynos is 8 nanometer, and it actually does worse at 303,000. And with the performance mode off, you're looking at about 270,000, which is actually below the last year's Snapdragon 845 chipset. And speaking about that, in 
fourth place we have the iQ Neo with 6 gigs of RAM Snapdragon 845 chipset with 296,000 points guys that is only 7,000 points behind the Nova 5 Pro and it is a lot cheaper we're talking about $100 cheaper over here at just $260 and speaking about $260 the Lenovo Z6 costs the same price with the latest mid-range chip Snapdragon 730 chip which is actually a better nanometer architectural design with 8 nanometers as opposed to 10 nanometers on the Snapdragon 845 chipset and at the same price point guys it is almost a hundred thousand low end score here now i'm not going to say that the difference between these phones is completely based on score real life scenarios are definitely different within these devices but looking at value for money over here guys the iq neo from vivo is definitely the one to go for as opposed to the lenovo z6 i definitely think it has better software it is more optimized and i do think the screen is slightly better too though that chin at the bottom is quite big as opposed to the rest of the devices here nevertheless they are both really great budget friendly phones and either one you pick up with you guys will be happy with though i do think the iq has some benefits especially in the battery department with 4500 milliampers now looking at some percentages uh, well some degrees over here with the battery degrees we have 35.5 degrees on the z6 37 degrees on the neo a little bit hotter k20 pro 36 degrees 37 degrees the hottest on the s10 5g and 37 degrees on the nova 5 pro not far behind the s10 and the iq neo then cpu degrees over here in celsius we have 37 degrees a little bit hotter on the z6 41 which is quite hot on the neo 45 on the k20 pro is very hot and then extremely hot s10 on the 5g and then 36 degrees on the nova 5 is definitely the best of the bunch guys these are all absolute monsters to say the least and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did making it and until next time guys this is technique